To do this exercise yourself, you will need some kind of mark making tool. Any of the following will work just fine, but your best option is something that will allow you to make both light and dark marks. You'll need some kind of paper to draw on, which in this case can be any kind of paper. Then, you'll need something to draw from. A photograph, sculpture, model, or even mirror will work just fine. So what we're going to work on is a very basic blocking in of the figure. There are three important aspects to keep in mind when we start our block in. Speed, simplify, and pressure. Speed means we want to draw quickly, which will help us to simplify the form. And pressure means we want to keep our first marks very light. By doing this, we allow ourselves the ability to make easy corrections later on. Here is a visual animation of what it means to simplify the figure. To take all the complex curves and angles of the figure and turn them into something we can more easily understand. You'll notice that all the lines in this example are straight and that any subtle curves have been transformed into simple angles. Here is an example of what the first few minutes of a block-in might look like as you begin your drawing. And this is the foundation I started with to eventually arrive at my finished drawing here. Now let's go to a video that shows the actual process of drawing the block-in. Blocking in the figure is one of the best ways to improve your drawing skills. It's great practice to do only block-ins and ideally focus on quantity over quality. So doing a group of 5 minute block-ins can be better practice for beginners than doing only one 30 minute block-in. Our result is a quickly drawn, simplified version of the figure depicted with a very light, modifiable mark. And if you would like to be taken through each step of how I completed this drawing, just follow the link below to the full instruction video. In the complete video, I'll go into detail about drawing technique, mediums, papers, and preparation. I'll also show how we can use initial mistakes to give our drawings more life. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on blocking in the figure. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I look forward to seeing you at the workshop in April. In the meantime, I wish you all the very best on all your drawing endeavors.